Hello, everyone. My name is Owen Godimer. I'm the community manager at TechWell. I'm joined today by Alan Crouch, the director of application security at Coveros. Hey, Alan, how's it going? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm all right. Thanks. Alan and I were going to chat today about uh, security acronyms in software. So we hear a lot about these security acronyms, RASP, IAS, DAST, SAST. So I wanted to kind of break them down and talk about what they are, how they can help, and how we can get started using them. Um, so the first one I was hoping we could start with is DAST. Alan, do you want to talk briefly about what DAST is? Yeah, DAST stands for Dynamic Application Security Testing. And it's a suite of tools that really look at web applications on the front end. So they're looking at a running application and they're looking at um, going through pages of the application and looking for potential security vulnerabilities or architectural weaknesses. Um, a lot of the things that they identify are um, things in the OWASP top 10, think of SQL injection or cross-site scripting. So they're a pretty much a black box testing tool. Cool. And so how does DAST, for example, differ from like RASP or IAST? Um, so I think um, IAST uh, has some similarities in DAST in that um, IAS and interactive application security testing um, is, uh, you know, looks at the things that it can combine from DAST. But really the big difference is, is SAST, which is, stands for static application security testing. Where static application security testing looks at the source code without a running application, DAST looks at the running application without the source code. Um, and I asked um, where it fits in is overarching, it looks at things from both the source code and the web application front end to find composite vulnerabilities, which you really wouldn't find without looking at the big picture. So um, it, it kind of fits under the umbrella um, of, of IAST, um, but it's the big differentiator is, is SAST and DAST. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you have the DAS, which is checking the application without code, and SAS checking the code without application without the application. Um, so that's, I think, obviously uh, a key difference there. Does it make sense to use both of those kind of running simultaneously? Uh, do you have to do both of those? Um, I, I think it's it's uh, you should have coverage in both of the areas. Now, um, you know, individual organizations might choose to have an IAS tool as you know, that covers both, um, you know, DAST and SAS. Um, some might choose to have SAS and DAS tools um, separately, um, but having both of those um, parts of, of security testing is important because you will identify some things in SAS and some things in DAS um, that you, you won't um, identify, you know, by just wanting one, one tool. Um, so you have to, to run both SAS and DAS in order to get a full picture of exactly what it is um, and what your security posture is with your application. How many vulnerabilities do I have? What's, and what's the likelihood of exploit? Right, so uh, all good insight. Obviously that first step is kind of the knowledge, understanding what these things are and what they do. But that next step, how, how can teams really get started using DAS in a way that's gonna help make their application more secure? So one of the easiest DAS tools, and it's, it's open source, it's available, you know, um, you know, out there online, is the OWASP Zap tool. So OWASP is a great organization um, that helps um, professionals out in the world understand uh, different security vulnerabilities, how to write code more defensively, and secure their applications. They put together a free DAS tool um, and a whole suite of uh, how-to guides to help you know, individuals who are either testers or engineers who don't have a lot of security experience, um, how exactly the tools work, um, how they identify vulnerabilities, and how to use them effectively, whether you're doing agile or DevOps or, you know, just playing around and trying to learn. So uh, I think that's, you know, the, the great first step into the, into the area. Uh, from there, you know, you might find that a commercial tool with 
some additional reporting capabilities um, also provides you value. But for a first step, um, you know, using OAuth Zap and getting used to everything under the umbrella is a uh, great, you know, entry into uh, the world of DAST.